What's good, Facebook? And wherever else I decide to post this, I always, <laughs> I always have to check my hair. I don't realize how bad I look until I go live. I don't realize how bad I look until I go live. Uh, hey, do me a favor. Drop me a comment. Say hello. Let me know that you were here, whether you're watching live or you're watching a replay. Even if you're just watching for a minute, just uh, leave me a comment. Let me know that you uh, caught a piece of this, if not the whole thing. Michela, how are you? Anyway, um, I'm just leaving the, uh, the flea market over here at North Point. Picked up a few things and thought I would make a quick live video just to kind of um, encourage everybody to get out there and start preparing for what's coming down the pipe. Um, made a video about a week ago encouraging people to go out, transfer their cash to silver, told them to start a food pantry, told some people to buy a shotgun, you know, like home protection wouldn't be a bad idea, depending on how you feel about guns. But um, yeah, so I'm just kind of, you know, practicing what I preach. I went out and I got, I got three big bags of almonds, two and a half pounds each. Got uh, some big bags of coffee you can see here. Got some protein powder, just some things that I use on the regular because I'm like, you know, I, I mean, I'm saying this for you. I say if I'm wrong, you know, but I know that I'm not wrong. I'm, I'm telling you 100%. I'm staking my reputation on this, that it happens. The, the Holy Spirit told me this 23 years ago and I've been saying it ever since. So there'd be really no reason for me to tell people to do this if I was, wasn't was really sure that I was right, you know, because... Um, if it doesn't happen, then, you know, I'm staking my reputation on it, like I said. So anyway, but even if, but if, if I was wrong, you know, like, let's say you go out and you buy extra things that you need, you're just going to use them anyway, right? You're going to use them over time. And the way inflation's going, things are only becoming more and more expensive. So again, I'm not an economist, but you know, if you look at countries like Argentina, for example, where the, the currency collapsed, <clears throat> Things got so expensive, you know, like just household food, you know, basic items, they became unaffordable. So people were literally starving. So what I would encourage you is whatever you use on the regular, just go out and buy extra of it, you know, buy more. If you want to transfer some of your cash to silver, which I did because, um, the, because the currency is losing its value because they printed so much money, I guess. And there's something going on. Let me just really quickly tell you about this because I've done some research on why this is happening. And just the other day, China and Brazil announced that they are going to get away from the dollar. You can Google it. So there was something called the petrodollar, which our dollar was linked to oil. Uh, you know, basically Saudi Arabia had agreed with us for the last like 60 years to only sell their oil to other countries in dollars, no other currency. So all these other countries around the world had to have reserves of our money, which allowed us to print a lot of money, even though it wasn't backed by anything. So now we just got off of that. So imagine when all these countries around the world start flooding the market with these dollars that they don't need anymore. Like it's going to create an issue because it's everything is supply and demand. So if I were you, I would prepare, I would go out, I would buy, you know, six months minimum uh, supply of, of things that you're going to need on the regular maybe water, um, clean water, have some bottled water just in case. Um, and then if I'm wrong, you use it. No big deal. The other day I stocked my freezer. I went to Aldi and they had, uh, they had all this, this tilapia, which isn't, you know, the best fish in the world, but it was all 50% off. So I bought like, you know, 30 pounds of it or maybe more. I just bought it all, everything that they had. I bought it through one of my freezer because I'll eat it, if, you know, anyway. So all I'm saying is I don't know when this happens. I don't know if it happens, you know, next week, next month, this year, next year. I don't know. But if you do what I'm saying, you'll be protected. You'll at least some, you know, the, the, and above everything that I'm telling you, number one, get close to Jesus because it's going to be the safest place to be when this world goes into a tailspin more than it is now, which is what's going to happen as we lead up to the end. And I know it sounds crazy. But as we lead up to the end, you know, the the prophesied second coming of Jesus, like he's really going to come back. You know, people think, I told my mom that the other day, she's like, you know, 
I forget what I, and I said, Jesus is coming back. She goes, what are you talking about? And I'm like, everything that they said in the Bible, like it's real, you know, Jesus is coming back and we're going to see it in our lifetime. I believe No, if the Bible says nobody knows the day or the hour, but it does say that we can know the season, you know, like it says, when you see these things begin to happen, look up because your redemption draws near. And if you look at the world, shit got really crazy in the last couple of years since, I mean, it was crazy before, but since 2020, things got really weird. And that is our sign to look up that our redemption is drawing near. And if you believe what the Bible says, that it says the beginning of birth pains, you know, if you look at like COVID, that was a birth pain. And what, what happens with birth pains until the baby gets born, they become more frequent and they become more intense. So we don't know what the next thing is. You know, I don't know what the next COVID or is going to be, but it, you know, is it going to be a war? Is it going to be the economic collapse? Is it going to be both? I don't know. Like I do know 100% and you heard it here that God told me 23 years ago that we, we have an economic collapse where the money becomes worthless and that we go to war with China. I know it sucks. I don't want to hear it either. I was watching a Fox. I was watching Tucker Carlson clip yesterday. And he was interviewing Glenn Beck, who's been very good at predicting things in the future. Not prophet, not not prophesying. He just kind of sees the way things are going and he's called some things right, a lot of things right. And he said by 2025, he predicts an economic collapse and a war with China. And I showed it to my mom and my stepdad. And I said, I've been telling you this for 23 years. What are the chances that I just, it was a coincidence and I got lucky. No, no I'm, not, I'm not a fortune teller. You know, so if I were you, don't, now is not the time to sit around. Now is not the time to like binge Netflix. Look, I, I mean, and trust me, I, I watched uh, Surviving R. Kelly last night. I watched a couple episodes. Not to say you can't, but I'm saying prepare. Just be smart. Don't don't panic. You know, I'm not telling you to panic at all. Because if you're a Christian, there's nothing to be scared of. We are. We know where we're going, and in the end, we win. Now it might be rough before then. I want to be as comfortable as possible until Jesus comes back. You know, like that's what I told somebody the other day. I'm like, I ain't afraid of dying at all. I'm not afraid of any of it, but I want to be as comfortable. I don't want to starve before he comes back, you know, like, so I want to do my best to prepare. As I told someone else, even Joseph, you know, when he knew that there was going to be a famine, when he knew that there was going to be seven years of famine, they prepared. And, and because they prepared, they weathered the storm. So... You know, like just, I went to the flea market because you get a lot more for the money there. You know, so you, you can buy some things at bulk for like half the price that you can get them anywhere else. So you just, just be smart, you know, use wisdom. Um, get, get tied into a, a faith community or, and if you're not, if you're not a Christian, get tied into a city fan because I'm telling you, that's going to be really important too. When all this goes down is you're going to need people that have resources. They might have a place for you to stay. They might have a, you know, gas or food or whatever just comfort you know be able to whatever so community is going to be very important when this all goes down so i would be cultivating that now i would be cultivating my relationship with god now too so that you can hear his voice uh, so that you recognize his voice because it's going to be a lot of distraction there's going to be a lot of chaos and you want to know what what god is telling you to do because he's going to be the you know the good shepherd to lead you so I know this all sounds weird and crazy and like, I'm a practical joker. Like even that, I don't know if y'all saw, I posted some things about, I posted an April Fool's Day prank today. It was an old, old post I had about, you know, people sending me naked pictures and that's, that's who I am. I'm like, I, I'm kind of like, like to keep it light and like to be funny and, you know, not take things too serious, but you know, I, like that Kanye West song says, even though you're not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. And the, and what that means is like the night is when everybody's kind of partying and you're in the darkness and you're, you know, maybe some of your shit's hidden. And, uh, but look, even though you're not ready for the day, it can't always be night. It's coming. The day is coming. The light, like where everyone's deeds are going to be exposed and everyone's lack of preparation is going to be exposed. So don't let that be you. You know, if you need, if you want to get silver, um, call my boy Derek Sovlakis at Monex. They have low minimums and they have lower fees than anywhere else. It's 1-800-444-8317. Tell them I sent you. I've used them many times. They're very reputable. And get some of your cash. Don't, don't be sitting on large amounts of cash. You are guaranteed to lose if you do that because of inflation. 
look, if I'm wrong and this thing doesn't happen right away, if you just buy the silver and you hold it, you don't, you know, you, you don't need it anytime soon, you are guaranteed not to lose. Okay, because we don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know when. I, I was, I'm not trying to predict a time. But if you look at the way things are going, you know, with all this news, the, the president of Kenya just was uh, told his people, dump the dollar. He said, if you got dollars, get rid of them. He's like, anybody that understands numbers can understand what's coming. So like when the president of certain countries and even like China and Brazil, they're all saying, but well, we're done with the dollar. Like that's, that's the end of the dollar. You know, like all fiat currencies, currencies not backed by anything, paper money, which is what the dollar is. Eventually they all fail. 100% of them all throughout history, they fail at some point. Don't be caught holding the bag. You know, don't, my, my, my family has their retirement and I'm trying to convince them, transfer some of that money to silver because, you know, in 2008 people, there were people that lost their whole, their whole life savings. They were supposed to, you know, go away and <laughs> retire and buy their dream home and they couldn't do it because of these greedy fucks at the top, excuse my language, but these greedy fucks that printed all this money and, you know, like now our government is bailing out SVP, the bank that failed, we're bailing them out, but guess who's going to pay? You, you're going to pay, the taxpayer, because your money's going to become worth less because they're going to print more of it. So like, prepare. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Sam Cheney, what's up, old friend? How are you? Ashley, Emma, Wendy McLaughlin. How are you, Wendy? I'm a photographer. Caroline Coates down in Florida, I believe. Paul Narco, Nurko, Doug Lewis, Melissa Hall Herdman, Jake Fisher, Derek Moore, Mike Harris, Tammy, Tammy Marie Deering, Sheila Jones Albin. Sheila said, scary for me as a single female, frightening. I mean, you know what? If you're a believer, you don't have to be afraid. God's in control. I mean, things are gonna get tense for sure cultivate a community, you know, plug in with a city fam. If there's one close, if not find a good faith community, even if you're not a Christian, I would suggest you find a faith community. Why? Because it's part of our teaching that we have to take care of each other. You know, like even if you're not a believer, they're good people. You know, most of them, some of them are, I get it, are kind of weird. And, and sometimes, you know, maybe they're boring or whatever. And I've experienced all that, but they're really good people generally. So not always, but generally Nicole Miner, how are you? Carolina Bornstein, Katie Walbert. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. You know, I wish I could convey more strongly, you know, like to go out and do this because it's, it's serious, you know, and it's, yeah. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Have a good weekend. See ya.